the highest importance to India's relations with Canada. This has been reinforced by my excellent experience with Canada as a Chief Minister of Gujarat. Our relationship had drifted in the past. In recent years, Prime Minister Harper's vision and leadership changed the course of our relations. I am conscious of the significance of this visit in the history of our relations. I have come at a time when the importance of this relationship for our two countries has never been stronger. We are two major democracies with deeply shared values. Canada has the potential to be a key partner in every area of India's national development priority. Energy and infrastructure, manufacturing and skills, smart cities and agro-industry, and research and education. Equally, the vast scale of India's transformation and our rapid economic growth offers immense opportunities for Canada. And it exists in a new environment in India, which is open, predictable, stable, and easy to do business in. <coughs> Prime Minister Harper and I are committed to establish a new framework for economic partnership. I am pleased that we have made rapid progress on long pending agreements. I am confident that we can conclude the bilateral investment promotion and protection agreement very soon. We will also implement the roadmap to conclude the comprehensive economic cooperation agreement by September 2015. The 13 agreements on skill development reflect my commitment to empower the youth of India with world-class skills for India and the global economy. The agreement on procurement of uranium from Canada for our civilian nuclear power plants launches a new era of bilateral cooperation. It also reflects a new level of mutual trust and confidence. Further, it will contribute to India's efforts to power its growth with clean energy. <laughs> As the agreement today on space highlights, we have a strong synergy for cooperation in areas of advanced technologies. To support greater engagement and people-to-people -people contacts, we have to conclude the Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement by September 2015. The 13 agreements on skill development reflect my commitment to empower the youth of India with world-class skills for India and the global economy. The agreement on procurement of uranium from Canada for our civilian nuclear power plants launches a new era of bilateral cooperation. 
It also reflects a new level of mutual trust and confidence. Further, it will contribute to India's efforts to power its growth with clean energy. At the agreement today on space highlights we have a strong synergy for cooperation in areas of advanced technologies. To support greater engagement and people-to-people -people contacts, we have liberalized our visa policy for Canada. We will issue electronic visa authorization for tourist visa for Canadian nationals. They will also be eligible for 10 years visa now. <laughs> Prime Minister and I agree the strong bilateral relationship will provide a solid foundation to pursue our common international interest. We also agree that in the troubled world of today, our cooperation will help advance our shared values and peace in the world. We in India felt Canada's pain when the city was struck by a senseless act of terrorism. The threat of terrorism is growing. Its sh shadows extends over cities and lives across the world. We will deepen our cooperation to combat terrorism and extremism. We will also promote comprehensive global strategy and consistent policy and action against all sorts of terrorism. खबरों की दुनिया में आइए हमारे साथ कहीं भी और कभी भी जुड़िए हम मिलेंगे फेसबुक पर हम दिखेंगे यूट्यूब पर हमें फॉलो कीजिए ट्विटर पर खबरों के साथ बने रहिए रात दिन